front on January 8th. It started in the Pacific Northwest and it came all the way south. From 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. January 9th. 12 hours it this front just a, and look how thick the 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 band is the yellow part is in the middle i mean just a band of heavy rain i mean that signals heavy rainfall but anyway it would it would have had an average of have to average a speed of 41 miles an hour um just that heavy rain in that front going for 12 hours it's an eight hour drive um Essentially, the takeaway here is that weather like this, weather didn't used to look like this. Um, this is very anomalous. I mean, a band of rain, a storm front spanning from Pennsylvania, clear south of Florida. These things just didn't used to happen. And uh, climate change is going to be the culprit here, predictably. Unless something changes policy wise, but you know, just trying to point out here the uh, anomalous nature of weather patterns. As many of you know, there's a lot of other things going on here in the states. Right here, um, yeah, I'm just trying to focus on the weather right now. Right here, we have a Klystron. Uh, Klystron, and he's saying that it uh, puts out 750,000 watts of energy in these pulses so essentially it's in the frequency of the microwave range so a microwave pulse can do what to water it evaporates it so at the very least we could say that these um, WSR88D microwave transmitters as part of the NEXRAD system um, can evaporate water molecules I believe that there's other sort of frequencies that they can use to generate and control and steer these storms whether it's these are not in any event it's too anomalous to overlook and say that they're not being manipulated by man um, of course like I said they're going to talk about climate change and that being the culprit but it is man-made it's steered by them it's weather terrorism and this video will get buried in the algorithm as well but thanks to the subscribers watching appreciate it and uh be safe. The antenna is 28 feet in diameter. It scans fixed elevations between 0 0.5 degrees and 19 degrees above the horizontal plane, with the speed dependent on the expected weather conditions. showing you now is actually the unit that generates the signal, it generates the power that is sent up through the waveguide up actually to the dish itself and then that data is processed up in the dish and sent down into the office which I'll show you later on.